Right, the next part of the puzzle. With this, obviously it needs a bit of cleaning up, which I've got to do yet. I've got a little missing screw here. So, but at the moment I'm working on the side pieces. I've just cut this out of a little bit of MDF. I think it's three mil. And I've cut this so that when the handle goes on, that's upright, and then he goes back down over the radio to that point there. So that's the original design, or very close to it. And when we're finished, we put him all together. So we've got that type of thing. Now, uh, how I'm going to get this together, I'm not real sure yet. I don't know whether to glue it or screw it, but yeah, that's that's what I've got in mind at the moment. We're sort of winging this as we go through. It's um, yeah, the the original one was plastic. Uh, it's just filled to pieces. This is probably not much better than plastic, but it's uh, it'll will restore it. It will look fine. Once I get this glued, I'll give the whole thing a coat of stain and eventually just some clear lacquer over this. It will um, it will look quite presentable. Okay, next bit. Right, while I'm waiting for that to dry, we'll get onto this fella and clean him up and work out our missing screw. It's a little brass one too. I don't think I'd have one of these, but I would have something close. So this fella has to be polished up. I have to find an insert in here. The, um, the size bolt we're using, which is probably an overkill, um, which is an 8 mil. But this is probably a 10 mil hole. So, um, yeah, we've got to come up with something there. And once again, Bakelite. How nice is that? Lovely. Okay. Let's find what I'm going to put at the end of this thing. Well, here's our little pieces. Half glued together. That's what they look like inside. Now, going to glue that one on there. And our actual bracket slips in there and goes from that extreme to that extreme. So that's that's what's happening now. So let's glue these together, and then I'll um, give them a little bit of a sand and a, a little little bit of stain, and see how they look. Well, guys, just turn him down a little bit. I've got the handle on, and it all looks 
Oh, looks pretty good. It works quite well. So that's that's our modification for the handle. Got to put the back on. Now, we'll just turn this off while I explain. Explain where the missing bit is. The IF alignment, the RF alignment. Went through the whole thing. Was um, probably an hour and a half doing it and so forth. Edited up most of the video. Was going to put this bit on the end of it. And somehow, I do not know how, that file was deleted. We have tried to undelete it. I have tried absolutely everything and cannot find or cannot, cannot get the file back. So, uh, very sorry we've missed the alignment on this one. It was no biggie, I guess. It was very straightforward. Oscillate a coil to align the bottom end of the band at 600 um, and then the trimmer to align the top slightly out, but we moved up towards the top end a little bit. The coil on the rod, we've had to move a little bit into the position it's in now and lock it into position there to get the bottom end to line up, uh, to get the bottom end um, RF peaked. And the top end RF, well, at 1600, was the um, the trimmer cap. Other than that, a battery holder. Um, now, what I've done here, I've just put in a couple of these fellas. Not very authentic, um, but uh, I don't want to use Ds in this. They're expensive. They're horrible. A little bit of Velcro sits on the bottom of the cabinet, push him down there, and he's quite secure. So there's the video. Really, really sorry you have missed the alignment. Yeah, it's one of those sick feelings when you cannot find the file you're after. Realising that um, my fault, it was deleted with a uh, delete batch of videos off the hard drive to make a bit of space this what I'm doing now but anyway we'll move on to we've got to keep going with the Breville radio anyway um, there's a there's a fair bit to do there it is and really oh Manuel wouldn't wouldn't like me unless I did this okay Let's get into position here. Look at that. So there we go. There she is. Singer Radio. Yes, it's singing again. I just wish you guys had have seen the alignment. But as I said, it was a very, very straightforward, basic alignment. No, nothing really, just, just the alignment of the dial. They're looking for a successor to... Works very well. I guess there's no surprise that Labour are in the box seat. Um, the handle come up rather nicely. Bakelite handle come up beautiful. I'm very happy with this, actually. Um, it's Yeah, it's not quite how it used to look. But it's very close, and the handle folds down nicely. And comes up. The pickup works on this. The extension speaker works. External antenna, well, we probably will never use that. But there we go, guys. That's the end of the Singer. The Singer 9... 10BD. So we'll, we'll move on to the next one. And um, yeah, which is the, um, the Breville, uh, the Breville valve radio that we're doing. So a little bit of it and uh, the next project on, on the bench. So a little bit of mix and match as we go along. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
please remember like subscribe it's a thumbs up and um, click the bell on the subscribe so you'll be notified as soon as I put up the next video okay guys we'll catch you next time bye for now